Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my March favourites. I didn't have a favourites video last month because I don't try that many new things all the time so I don't always have new favourites but I hope you guys will like this month's favourites. I haven't got that many beauty items but yeah these things I've just been using so much this month and last month as well so I hope you guys will like this video. Also just in case you guys are wondering, um, the lipstick that I'm wearing is this Gosh lipstick. Um, it's just this bright orange one but I put a little bit so it's not too bright and it's in the shade Flirty Orange and it's just a nice spring shade. I actually filmed a makeup tutorial on this look which will be up this week as well. But I kind of wish that I used this lipstick to do the makeup tutorial because I wanted to do like a spring kind of makeup look and I used a more pinky one and I wished I used that one but oh well. At least you guys know from watching this video. I also want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to all of you that entered the giveaway. Even though it's a tiny one, I still appreciate all the love and support and it really, really means so much to me. I just can't believe how many of you entered. Like, it's crazy. Now I know how much you guys love giveaways, so I will definitely be doing more on my channel soon. So, yeah. So I'm first going to talk about my beauty favourites this month and the first item that I've been loving is the Morphe 35O palette. It's gorgeous. I love the shades and Morphe shadows are so pigmented so if you can get your hands on this well as you know that I'm, I am giving away Morphe palette but it's not the 35O it's another nice warm kind of palette but this one is like my favourite. I do have the Jaclyn Hill favourites palette but I love this one even more. It's just so amazing and you get more shades in this one and yeah they're just super pigmented and I always keep reaching out for it like every day so I just love this palette so much. So the next product that I've been loving so much lately is this sleek bare kiss um, illuminator in the shade Monaco if this damn camera will focus there you go this is what it looks like it just comes in a pump like this and it's just so easy to use I love it because it gives an amazing glow to your skin and it's just so easy to use and I love it it's just like very subtle and you get so much product and I think it's around $8.99 but all links as always will be in the info box now the next product that I really want to talk about and I've been using it so much since I got it is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is what it looks like and I've done a video on this and I think it's a great dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's not as smooth and a, um, long lasting as the Brow Wiz but it's kind of similar to it so it come, again it comes with this spoolie end and then the product end. And like I said the reason why I like it is because it's so much cheaper and I can keep my Brow Wiz and my Brow Definer for like special occasions and just use this on a daily basis and I've done my brows with it today and I just love it. It's just so easy and very very affordable. And by the way I'm in the shade espresso. Now for the next product, I've been using this quite a lot lately and it's the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. Now this was sent to me um, by um, preciousaboutmakeup.com and basically they're just a website in the UK that sell like Makeup Forever which I always buy stuff from them. Um, but they were kind enough to send this to me. I didn't want to use it because I wanted to wait till I get the actual foundation and do a review with the two but I just couldn't wait and I'm running out of concealer so I just started to use it and it's actually really really good. The only thing I don't like about it is the, the applicator because I always end up using more than I need to so that's the only downside to it but it's not as good as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer but it's still a good one so definitely been loving this and I'm in the shade Y41 and I believe it's called Honey. Now the next product that I've been using a lot lately as well is another Makeup Forever product and this is the Cream Camouflage or camouflage cream palette in number four and I love this one because it's great for like deeper skin tones but they have different palettes with lighter or darker shades or even like a green corrector and stuff like that. I like this one because I love this shade right here to conceal and this one to kind of like colour correct. I used this in my previ previous makeup tutorial but they're just basically so easy to use and again this was sent to me by Precious About Makeup so thank you Harlan, she's the lady that's so sweet that sends me makeup forever stuff but um, yeah I've just been loving this and and, um, especially the orange corrector is just so easy to blend and it the thing is it doesn't mi mix with your foundation which is a plus side. So the next product is a lip balm and it's called La Bello and I believe this comes from France. But this is what it looks like. 
and my cousin gave it to me and she, she lives in France so she got it from there but I don't know if you can get it on Amazon or something but I'll try and find it for you guys but this is the best lip balm I've ever tried it's so moisturising it's the best one like better than any other moisturise, lip moisturiser or lip balm I've ever used it's just so moisturising and I always keep this in my handbag because my lips get so dry so the next product that I want to quickly mention is this Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser Soap um, I love to use this to clean my brushes and I actually kind of need to clean my brushes now. This is what it looks like. It comes like, it probably might be dirty, but as you can see, I'm running out, seriously. This product is so easy to use to clean my brushes, I just literally swirl it in there, but I already have a video on how to clean um, your makeup brushes and I've used this in there, so I'll leave a link to that video in the info box if you want to go check that out. But yeah, I've just been loving this, it's so easy to clean my brushes, it just does it in a quick go. And it, yeah, I really love it. Even though it's a bit pricey, you can also use like baby soap or whatever. But this I've just been loving, seriously. The next product is a skincare one, and which was mentioned in my um, skincare routine video. And it's the Nippon Fab Glycolic Cleanser. Um, I, like I said in that video, I absolutely love this. I feel like it really saved my skin and t took away all those little bumps from my skin. But go watch that video as well. I'll leave a link to that video as well in the um, info box because I explain much more in detail why I love this. But yeah, this has been a great favourite of mine. Now the next one is a simple hand cream from Body Shop. And this is the Almond Hand and Nail Cream. And I've, as you can see, this has been pretty used up, like there's literally nearly none left and this is quite a big sized one like compared to my hand this seriously smells so yum I love the smell of al almonds and I keep this in my handbag because my hands like even now they're like grey like why does my skin always have to be grey I kind of get all cringy when my hands are grey so I always need this in my handbag so that I can moisturise my hands whenever I need to and I actually got this on clearance for £5 at the body shop so go check in their clearance section if they have any hand creams in there because all of their hand creams look really nice but this is like my favourite one. The next thing that I've really been liking lately is this Nair um, hair remover body wax strips. Now I got this in um, Poundland for a pound and I don't know how many there is, there's 16 wax stri strips in there so for a pound like that's really not bad and what I like to use this is for my arms like when I want to remove hair off my arms and they just come in like these weird strips and literally they're only a pound I feel like that's why I really like them because they're so cheap so you can get these in Poundland if you can find one in your Poundland because I know sometimes not all Poundlands keep the same items but if you can find this definitely grab some because it actually works really well especially for my like arm hair it's just so easy to use and now for the final item I just wanted to talk about about this nail polish it's by Avon and it's this nice little like grey pretty one I just love the shade and these actually stay on really well and when I wore this I got a lot of compliments wearing it and yeah it's just a really nice nail polish so I just thought I'd mention this in the video if you can if you have like a local Avon distributor near you or you can even get their stuff off their website as well but Avon stuff are quite good. So yeah, those are all my favourites for this month and actually also for the past month too. Um, I've been using these all so much and I've just been loving them a lot lately. Oh, and by the way, I just received uh, my EX1 Invisaware foundation, liquid foundation, in um, the post today. And I will be doing a review tomorrow on it, so I can't wait to try it out because a lot of you have been requesting this. Um, and hopefully the video will be up on Friday, so I can't wait to see what it's like and if the shade is good for me. And yeah! So if you would like to see that video on Friday and more videos from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And also like this video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!